Google group. Today is the 3rd of May and this is what I have done to my plate bearers so far. So I, excuse the <clears throat> racket, the gremlin is out of its cage. Um, so I washed with a green wash just to see if I could make an interesting skin tone with the purple underneath and I think it's turned out pretty good I like, I like the skin tone I don't intend for them to be green but I like the skin tone so far so so question of the day is uh, what Miniature vehicle diorama inspired you most when you first became interested in the painting side of the hobby? What was it about that piece that really stuck with you and inspired you to be a better painter? Do you remember who painted it? Well, I can't really answer that question because uh, I don't have a specific model uh, that inspired me. It was artists that inspired me and uh, three in particular on YouTube. So the first one is Christy from uh, the channel Wargames Soldiers and Strategy. Uh, she is the most amazing miniature painter. If you haven't seen her channel go and check it out. She's fantastic. Uh, she does um, historical pieces, mostly. Uh, I think there's a few others thrown in there for fun. And um, yeah, she's she's brilliant, uh, fantastic, absolutely great artist. And if you haven't subscribed to her channel or checked her video out, videos out, go and have a look. I've watched most of her videos and I'm always extremely impressed with her work. I aspire to be that good one day, here's hoping. Okay, so the second uh, artist, um, don't know his name, but his channel is Dr. Faust's Painting, Cha Painting Clinic, or sometimes he changes it to The Painting Clinic, but you'll find him for, at the moment, he is Dr. Faust's Painting Clinic. Uh, and I always enjoy watching his videos. He's also a fantastic artist. Um, he paints all different miniatures, so there's a big variety, and uh, he is very interesting to watch. He's a very good uh, teacher, um, and I always enjoy watching his videos. He's uh, very interesting, and he also talks a lot, so it's interesting to listen to as well. And the third uh, artist is Girl Painting, uh, Alexandra, who is... Uh, very fun to watch. I really enjoy watching her uh, videos. She's a lot of fun. Um, she uh, has some very interesting tips on painting and she also does a variety of models um, as well. So uh, go and check her out if you haven't seen her. She's, uh, she's great. Um, but of course the most obvious would be uh, the war boss himself, War Boss Tay, who of course I admire his work as well. He's fantastic, as everybody knows. So, let's move on to my shoutouts for today. Apart from those ones, these are shoutouts for people in the Google group. So, uh, today I'd like to shout out to uh, Natloaf, who is, uh, as far as I know, the only other girl in the challenge. Uh, so, hello, and... Uh, Girl power, and I'm glad to see some other girl in the challenge. Uh, I'm really looking forward to how her Chaos Space Marines turn out. She's only doing level one, but uh, go and have a look. She's a pretty good painter, actually. I, I've seen she's posted some photos of her previous uh, Space Marines, and they look really good. So go check her out. And the other one is Aussie Imperium, who is also doing demons. So. I'm looking forward to seeing his May videos, although he hasn't posted any yet, so come on Aussie Imperium, I want to see your demons. Uh, he's doing um, some plague drones, which I really want to see because they are 
demons and I want to get some of those so I want to see how they look and some demonets of Slanesh I believe and maybe some others so I hope that he starts making his videos for May. Uh, the other one is the Warhammer Fat Kids who are doing some Japanese 15mm models I think and I haven't seen their video videos for May yet so I hope they get their videos out and um, come on guys get your videos out there uh, we were waiting to see well I'm waiting to see so those are my three shout outs check out their channels uh, they're all really interesting um, so I want to move on to my tertiary objective sorry lots of talking today hopefully this video doesn't run too long I'm gonna try and keep these videos in May really short so People aren't discouraged from watching them. I know I would be if they were 20 minutes long. So, my tertiary objective, uh, the question of the tertiary objective is choose a project that you are looking forward to following and why. Well, that's really, really hard for me. Uh, it is really, <laughs> I'm in looking forward to everybody's project. I enjoy watching everybody's videos and commenting on everybody's videos. So, I, uh, I feel a little bit, uh, disappointed that I'm not going to be able to watch every single video uh, especially at home because I have an internet issue as some people already know living in the country no uh, unlimited internet so I uh, sadly can't watch everybody's videos at once which is terribly uh, distressing for me because I would really love to follow everybody but I decided for my tertiary objective to pick the models that I am most looking forward to seeing progress on uh, and mentioning them. So the first one is the Hobby Habit who is doing uh, some dwarves. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they turn out. Uh, he's um, also doing a little bit of scenery as well which should be pretty interesting uh, and cool. Uh, the next one is Daniel Sprinkle, who's doing Nagash. I'm really looking forward to see how his Nagash is going to turn out. Um, I've never seen anybody paint a Nagash before, so that should be good. Uh, the next one is O Wise Owl, who's doing Water Trolls. I'm not familiar with them, but they look like really cool models, and I want to see what he does with those. He's always got some interesting uh color schemes, so that should be really good to, to see. Um, Tookie Wai, who's doing a Game of Thrones inspired models, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's going to do with those, and how they're going to look in the end, and all the fluff that's going to go with it, we shall see. Uh, the next one is Mortis Causa, who's doing a necromancer and his uh, corpse cart. <laughs> I'm looking forward to those to see how he's going to uh, progress with those uh, and his level 4 fluff. I am intrigued and uh, interested to see what's going to happen to his necromancer. So. And the last one that I chose, uh, unfortunately the last one because I could go on and on and on, is the Viking runesmith who is doing Skaven. Uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing those, especially Mini-Me, the little rat. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's going to turn out. So uh, that's my tertiary objective uh, done. And if you haven't checked out those guys' channels, go and take a look if their projects intrigue you too. So uh, next I have to roll the dice to see what happens to my uh, pride of fatties who have been away adventuring. So let's go do that now. So my first roll is going to be for my avatar Gaia. So I will roll to see if she, how many warbucks she gets. Ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Next will be Alvira. Yes, 19, 20, 21, 22. And so I'm going to uh, roll to see what happens to her during the challenge. So 
Oh! Tragedy strikes. That part party member is lost forever and must be replaced. What? That sucks. Oh well. Gods have chosen. They have spoken. So next it will be Bob. Oops. Two fives, a six, a four, and a three. So ten, sixteen, twenty, twenty-three. Nice. And let's see <sighs> what happens to Bob. I don't really want Bob to die. A two. Nothing. Okay. So next is Persephone. Five, four, two, and two ones. So that is 10, 11, 12, 13. And let's see what her outcome is. A four. That party member manages to bring back an extra 5d6. So she gets to roll again. Six, a four, a five, a two, and a three. So ten, fifteen, twenty. Nice. So next is Clyde. That is Four sixes and a five. So that is twelve, twenty-four, twenty-nine. Let's roll to see what happens to him. Ah, a one. Well, at least him and Alvira got to go together because they were very close. I will be getting a couple more companions together, that means. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but So in the meantime, I will be upgrading Persephone um, for 50 Warbucks. Uh, so uh, she will be rolling differently. So she's going to train at the Spicy Latina, and uh, she and Alvira and Bob will. Sorry, she and Gaia and Bob are going out on a new adventure. In the meantime, I will be gathering more party members <laughs> to go with them. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.